Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a, a uh, internet friend of mine asked me a question. He is a scroll solver, and he wanted to know when you use the spiral tool, which is in the flyout of the polygon tool, you can do a perfect circle. What he does, he does a basket. He cuts all this out, and then the basket kind of squeeze, squeezes into it and makes a little basket. But he wanted to know how he could do it on a shape like this. And... I don't think there's any way to use a spiral tool, but you could use the rectangle tool, making yourself a rectangle, go up here and curve the edges, and then take this item and go to effects, contour, we'll contour it 10 times, and it won't go, it only did six, it'll actually tell you. And it's really pretty easy. Now, the more cuts you have, the smoother it's going to be. I've already started doing this one, and you can see my curvature is pretty sharp. But when you get on a less, less curve, you're going to have a little bit of in well, we'll just see. So grab that second ring and go up to object and convert it to a curve. Tell you what, we'll convert all these to a curve. I'm going to hold down the shift button and select all these and go up to object and convert to curves. Then when you grab your shape tool, you get your nodes. And we actually need to take this first one and grab our shape tool and select these nodes and then break them apart. And then grab that line, holding down your control button, it'll get you perpendicular, perp perpendicular to the other one. Take this one, break apart, grab that node, and you see what I'm talking about? It's going to give you a little bit of a funny effect. It's more noticeable, basically. Grab that, select both those nodes, break them apart. You basically have to double click on it until they go clear or transparent, and then move that down, holding down the control button. Grab that one, break it apart. Click it again, click off of it, hold down your control button. Grab this one, break them apart, click it again till they become clear. Break, holding down the control button. And as you can see what I'm talking about, they're a little bit of a funny angle, but I think it's still going to work. And then holding down the control button. And then what you would do on the last one is just take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Then you're going to have, for a scroll solver, you're going to have a cut, a continuous cut. Now, you could actually go back in there and play with these corners, but I really don't think you'd notice it because you you really messed this up right here. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.